How do F1 pit stops compare to other motorsports? Pit stops seem pretty simple in essence. A car comes in, gets some new tyres, a splash of fuel in some motorsports, and maybe even a cheeky wipe of the windscreen or helmet. However, it is in fact one of the most high pressure environments you'll find in any sport in the world. Let's break down what happens in different motorsports, starting with Formula 1. As we've seen in the first few races of 2018, things can go drastically wrong in a pit stop. Both Haas F1 cars retiring due to a tyre not being fitted correctly in Australia and the horrific accident involving the Ferrari crew member in Bahrain. But what roles are in place to hopefully carry out a safe two second pit stop? Well firstly you have four tyre changers, one at each corner of the car with heavily modified pneumatic wheel guns that unleash incredible amounts of torque to get the tyres off at insane speeds. Then you have eight tyre carriers, two for each corner, one to remove the tyre screaming out for help after a painful stint in a Grand Prix, and one fresh, ready to rumble tyre to be installed. We then move on to two stabilisers, actual people, not wheels for a bicycle, to make sure the car is steady at both sides. Then you have one mechanic at either end of the car, known as Jackmen, to lift the car up ready for the extremely quick surgery which is an F1 pit stop. The front one in particular has some serious bravery because if the car misses its marks, well, you get the picture. And finally, two front wing men ready to adjust the front wing on either side, as well as cleaning any bits of rubber that might have got lodged in those intricate wing elements. There are also other members of the team, such as the fire extinguisher man, the starter man should the car need to be restarted, and also the ice cream man for when they've successfully completed the stop. As you may have gathered, it's pretty busy in an F1 pit lane. Now let's compare that to Formula 1's electronic counterparts, Formula E. Pit stops don't really exist in Formula E, and what I mean by this is that when they come into the pits, the drivers are there to swap cars, not tyres. In fact, no other mechanic services can be performed on a Formula E car apart from replacing damaged tyres. A driver starts with one car and changes to another car midway through the race due to battery restrictions, which will not have to happen when the next generation of Formula E car is racing. That makes things a little more stressful and hectic in the Formula E pit lane as teams and drivers try to find all sorts of ingenious ways to do up the seatbelts as quickly as possible. Speaking of hectic, that brings me nicely on to NASCAR. Regulations state that only six individuals can go over the wall to service a race car during a pit stop, which means every single person has a big job to do. A stop for four tyres and fuel can last 12 to 16 seconds, and a stop for two tyres and fuel may take five to seven seconds, whilst here I am, a man that struggles to get out of bed in any less than 30 minutes. What a disgrace. So back to the latest version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, NASCAR and the Six Mechanics. First up, the Jackman. Their job is to raise each side of the car so that the tyres can be replaced. Not only that, but the Jackman will also usually pull the old rear right tyre from the car. Not paid enough, I tell ya. Then you have the two tyre changers that have a slightly harder job than those in F1 due to NASCAR requiring a wheel to have five traditional lug nuts as opposed to one in F1. The fourth member is the gas man that fills the car with gasoline in a special gas can. Turns out the gas man doesn't just do the gas stuff either. They may also help pull old tyres from the race car too. What a legend. Finally, we have the two tyre carriers who bring new tyres over the pit wall and pop them on the car. Quite a busy operation and reasonably complex, just like the other American motorsport series, IndyCar. IndyCar also allows six mechanics over the wall during a pit stop, which doesn't sound like it'd be too hectic in a pit lane, but when there's a yellow flag or a safety car in IndyCar, all hell breaks loose. The first port of call is for a mechanic to activate the car's built-in pneumatic jacks where a pressurised air hose is inserted into a nozzle at the rear of the car. Once this is done, everyone else gets to work. Apart from the gas man, they're filling up throughout the whole process. The four tyre changers remove the wheels and install new ones, but they may also be in charge of adjusting the front wing angle, removing debris from air intakes and performing any minor repairs. You also have the refuelling mechanic who is likely to be there the longest, even after all the work is completed on the car. And if all that wasn't enough, before the car can go, it's got to have a wash. Well, not quite, but a crew member must squirt water to wash any excess spilled fuel away. Phew! Everything's a little bit manic over in America, isn't it? Let's move away from stress and over to a more relaxed affair, endurance racing. They may be a bit more relaxed, but that doesn't make them any less important. The pit stops take much longer than other forms of motorsport, not because everyone is making a cup of tea, but much more routine maintenance is being carried out to ensure the car can survive 6, 12 or 24 hours. The main areas of work usually involve the aerodynamics as they need to be heavily adjusted due to the massive changes of temperature over the course of a long race and the brake pads because, well, they take a serious beating as you can imagine. So you know how IndyCar and NASCAR are only allowed 6 mechanics? 
Well, the rules within endurance racing state only five mechanics are allowed to work on the car. As of this season in the World Endurance Championship, maintenance to the car is allowed to be carried out whilst one mechanic refuels the car. The other four mechanics will be split into two tyre carriers and two tyre changers. In IMSA, it's slightly different, with teams only being allowed four mechanics to service a car, with one on the refuelling and three to manage the pneumatic jacks on the car and change the tyres. What an inconvenience! Pit stop times can vary from 30 to 40 seconds with no maintenance and no driver change, 40 to 50 seconds with a driver change, and if a changing of brake pads is required, then it will last well over a minute. Over the course of the 24 hours of Le Mans, an LMP1 car will pit around 30 times, so efficiency in every single pit stop is still extremely important as it all adds up. So that's how pit stops work in F1, Formula E, kinda, NASCAR, IndyCar and endurance racing. Which is your favourite method? Let us know in the comments section below.